Dr. Maria here, and we have some new experiments today. As you know, it's October, it's Halloween time, so we have some experiments with pumpkins. Let's see what we got. All right, on our first experiment, we're gonna do salt crystal pumpkins. Here I have prepared all the materials that we need. We're gonna use water that we're gonna boil. We're gonna use three little pumpkins and we're gonna use a lot of salt. The first thing we're gonna do, and if you're repeating this at home, be sure to do this with an adult, is take our water to our stove and boil it. When it's already been a few minutes of heating up our water, we're going to see very small little bubbles and it's time to add our salt. Also going to mix it. Our water is going to boil. And what happens here is that the hotter our water is, the more salt can be dissolved in it. So I'm going to keep adding salt more and more until I see a little sheet of salt crystals on the top of my water. At this point, you can see the salt crystals on the top, on the surface, moving around, little crystals. Okay, that is the point where we have a super saturated solution of salt in water. That just means that we have a lot of salt in water. And we're gonna pour it over these pumpkins. All right, here we go. Part of our experiment is already happening. You can see that it was water, and now we're starting to see more salt appear on the pumpkins. But I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna keep taking pictures or videos to show you how these look, because it might take a couple hours or a couple of days to see even more crystals. The idea is that we know there is salt in that water, right? But where did it go? It's dissolved in the water. It means we can't perfectly see it in the water, but it's inside of it. And what's gonna happen is that when that water evaporates with the hours passing by or the days, the salt is gonna start clinging to each other and they're gonna form little crystals. These are our pumpkins that received the salt water after five days of waiting for the salt water to crystallize. And it's really interesting to see that this salt water has turned into shiny little crystals. dissolving pumpkins. We have six liquids here, guys. First, we have water. Then we have hot water, milk, oil, soda, this is Coca-Cola, Coke, and vinegar. If you are gonna try this experiment at home, you have to do it with a grown-up. Okay? okay, so the idea today is to see what happens 
to these candy pumpkins that we have here when we put them in different liquids. Are they gonna stay the same? Are they gonna disappear? Which would be, are they going to dissolve in the liquid? Or are they gonna change shape? So let's put the candy pumpkins in each one of these liquids and see what happens. All right, first we're gonna do water. Next, we're gonna do hot water. Next, the milk. Then we have the oil. This is just veggie oil. And we have the soda. And finally, vinegar. All right, I already see some stuff that's happening between the water and the hot water. Do you guys see a difference? I definitely see that the pumpkin in the regular water that's just room temperature water, not much is happening, huh? But the one in the hot water is making the water already orange and we can see bubbles coming up. Can you see the little bubbles? Now we can't really see the pumpkin in the milk, but we're gonna see when it comes out how it looks like. The one in the oil doesn't seem to be doing much, huh? We can still see the little lines that make the pumpkin, whereas the one that's in the hot water, we can't see those lines anymore. The one in the water, we can still see it. And then finally, we have the one in the Coke and the one in vinegar. I am still not seeing very many results, but I think the one in the Coke might be dissolving a little bit. We are gonna have to give these pumpkins some time. I'm gonna wait between an hour and two hours and see what happens. And look at what's happening to the vinegar one. It seems like the outer shell peeled off and the pumpkin is dissolving from the center. You can see the little bubbles going. The water also seems to have some sort of peeling going on and it's dissolving much slower than the hot water. two hours that our pumpkins have been in liquid so we're gonna take a look at what happened to each one of them let's start with the comparison between the water and the hot water we know that the hot water one dissolved very fast within the first 10 minutes there was no pumpkin left but the one in water is dissolving too and we can see that the water has also turned orange now let's take the one in water outside see how it looks. Uh, it's just a shell.
Now let's go to the next two, which are the milk and the oil. And the milk should be a surprise because we haven't been able to see anything. All right, I'm gonna try to get it out of there. I don't think there's anything left. All right, what we're gonna do in that case is we're gonna dump the milk out and see what's left inside. All right, let's do this slowly. We have our milk container. There's something in there indeed. Right at the bottom. It's not completely gone. Okay. Now we can catch it again. seems to be some the outer shell is in the bottom but I, I can't dig it out of there okay and finally we have the oil nothing much seems to have happened in the oil huh all right let's go wow it's not even soft looks just like an original pumpkin. It even has a green top. I press it and it's not soft. Yep, still hard. All right. Our two last ones are the Coke and the vinegar. That to me is the funniest one. All right, let's see if we can take that out of the Coke. It looks like the water or the milk. And the outer shell is there. I can get pieces of it. See? Some of it is stuck there. And I can keep fishing out little pieces. All right, the vinegar seems like the inside of the pumpkin has completely dissolved, the part that's made of sugar, but the outside did not dissolve in vinegar. There's stuff floating on the top too. All right, let's see what we can catch. All right, there seems to be a bottom. Just the bottom of the pumpkin and then the outer shell. See, there's the bottom. All right, so this is the final result. We got the pumpkin and water that dissolved, but the outer shell was, was still there. Pumpkin in hot water that is completely gone. The pumpkin in milk that dissolved quite a bit, but less than water. You know guys, milk is pretty much water with proteins and fat and sugars in it. So it already has a lot dissolved in it. That's why other stuff doesn't dissolve so much. The oil, nothing happened, so we can say that sugar and whatever the rest of the pumpkin is made of, like that outer shell, is not soluble in oil. The Coke one, which reminds me a little bit of the milk one, right? There's a lot of material that was dissolved, but not all of it, because Coke has a lot of sugar in it. It has already a lot of stuff dissolved in it, so when we put a pumpkin in, it has more trouble dissolving. And finally, the vinegar. Vinegar, the same as Coke, is very acid, but it doesn't have other stuff dissolved in it. And a lot of it dissolved, but this, this bottom 
it just didn't go and it created that funny effect with the outer shell kind of floating up and we got a lot of the outer shell back here all right guys let's take a look at the whole thing for the last time all right kids i think that's it for the halloween experiments with pumpkins i hope you enjoyed them and if you have any questions if you have any ideas of why things dissolve more or less in water or about crystallization, which is the process by which those little salt crystals are formed, um, you can always ask me or ask your teacher and uh, we can talk about it. Happy Halloween!